I have something really cool to show you. This is a new VRX app that I've designed and it's, I think it's a big improvement over the previous version. This is the previous version and this is the new. Check it out. How is it actually better? So first of all, on the top here we have a dedicated goggles mounting solution. So this is a GoPro style bracket thing. Uh, secondly, obviously this is much smaller, so it should be lighter in theory. Thirdly, the little USB-C bridge thing that was here is actually hidden inside of the case. And the last bit is the micro SD card is now much more accessible so here you kind of had to dig in deep down into the case with pliers or something and here is you just use your nails to extract it out yeah I think overall it looks pretty much like a finished product from some kind of company pretty proud of it um, but yeah let's talk about the important bit about the ports on the bottom, here we have on the left um, a 2.1 mm uh, barrel jack. This is for power, so this takes from 2S to 6S. And um, here you have your main HDMI uh, port, basically to your goggles. Uh, this will have a heat insert for mounting it to a tripod. I just have to press it in. Uh, this port can be used to power stuff. This is a USB-C. Uh, I, for example, power my um, my monitor with this uh, cable here. On the side we have another USB-C. This can be used, for example, for uh, downloading media from uh, Ruby. So just use a USB stick like this. I have one of those. Great little thing. And yeah, just you can use that. Also can be used for power. You can also use um, another external Wi-Fi card if two cards and four antennas is not enough for you. Here you have a space for an SD card. Of course, face down like this. So yeah, just put it in like that. And as you can see, it fits in really well. You can just take it out. No tools necessary like this. This is obviously five way joystick. This can be used for recording. Oh yeah, and there's one more USB-C. This one is um, pretty special because this is used for, for displaying and for transferring power. So if you have, for example, uh, VR goggles that can take a video and power to one cable, you can use that. But in order to use that, you need to uh, bridge this HDMI with... So I'll, I'll add a cable extra extra cable for that so you need to bridge these two there with this little cable and then you can have the video out here i haven't tested it because i don't have goggles or, or glasses vr glasses like this but in theory it should work uh, this is based on the bonnet as you can see there's radsa uh, 3w underneath um, 30 millimeter fan four antennas and that's it, really. This is, uh, yeah, still to be finished, but this is a finished piece. I've been testing this thing for last three or four months. Okay, um, I've been testing this really, but the insides are exactly the same. And um, from what I know, this thing is gonna go, it's gonna make its way to uh, one of the biggest YouTubers in FPV world. Um, so Joshua, this video is for you and hopefully this will give you a good open IPC experience. I've had this setup for last, as I said, 3-4 months and it performs uh, pretty well. The, the screen is very bright but uh, this gives a good video out as well. I know you probably use, uh, most of you use uh, goggles so yeah, this thing 
is, is very handy. Um, the files for this will be available on printables, of course. But yeah, this is the last available bonnet in the wild. So this is the, the bad, bad news. Um, but yeah, if people are interested in this, I'll try to contact the developer and convince him to make more of these. The ori original price was $40 um, and yeah, this is basically just the price for all the components. Um, yeah, let me know if, if you wanted more of these to make one of those. And the total cost to build something like this will be around $100, 100 USD. I think it's better than the new Emacs that came out recently because it has four antennas. It's based on the same um, chips and everything. So uh, the Radsa is inside and the Emacs made a similar kind of bonnet style uh, hat. That's it for today. Thanks guys. Thank you.